Welcome to the Design It 8 video learning series. In this tutorial we'll be working in the original pattern drafting section of the program shown here in pink. It's one of the five major sections of Design It 8. We'll be looking at an exciting new feature of Design It 8 where we can lay out our stitch designs directly onto our garment shapes in original pattern drafting, whether the shapes came from standard garment styling, original pattern drafting, or our exact stitch layout shapes without the need to go into Stitch Designer to lay these out. Using this method of laying out our stitch patterns is faster than doing this in Stitch Designer. Let's choose the front of a sweater for me, shown here. Let's, let's move, these, move these things around a little bit, clean up our workspace. Okay, I'm going to centralize this piece so it's as big as it can be. I'm going to click on this icon here. This brings up the stitch thumbnail window, and I'm going to pick this argyle pattern, OK, and I can use this hand, this square, turns the cursor turns into a hand when you hover over the square, and I can drag my stitch pattern about like that, and it's laid out. Now I can go to my back and I can say stitch pattern and the argyle again, OK. And I'm going to lay this out right about like that, OK. Turn the vertical mirror off and you can see what this looks like. The last thing that you need to do, so I have two patterns, two pieces laid out and two patterns without laying it out. You can easily double click on this icon and change your mind and put a different pattern on instead. Maybe this carpet pattern this is an all over Fair Isle. And you can do the same thing. You could move this around as, as you want to get it exactly where you want to have it for the design. Maybe like that looks fine. Once we have our layout, then we say File, Integrate, and it's checked off for the front and the back. The sleeves, it says not positioned yet. That's correct. The front is Carpet 1, a stitch pattern, and the back is the Argyle stitch pattern. We can change this by clicking on this two dots, and it comes up again. And I could say Argyle, OK and now it's changed it to the Argyle pattern. It says Intarsia, Carriage on the right. I can click here and change it to Carriage starting on the left if I want, or Carriage on the right. OK to continue, and you're done. This is a very quick way of doing this for all over designs in original pattern drafting. Thank you.